Welcome back to Walsall Fan TV for the preview of Walsall at home to Newport. <sighs> With the Morecambe game being postponed, it's still the same really. Um, and this becomes the first of the six, the big six games that will define Walsall's season. We face Newport on Saturday and they're somewhat resurgent really. They're on a good run. Um, Hugh Jenkins has uh, been confirmed as the new chairman. And uh, Graham Coughlin, he's uh, doing a good job with him, isn't he? Um, one, four out of the last six, three, uh, four wins, two draws. Um, and they've uh, leaped from Warsaw into 13th place. Um, they've played one more than us, just two points above us. Um, so it's one that Warsaw could do with winning. But what do we know about Newport? Well, Omar Bogle was their top goal scorer last season uh, with 19 goals. He was on eight with three assists when he uh, got a muscle injury. Uh, he did gain hot water with Newport for going to social media to declare he wouldn't be back until March. But Will Evans has certainly uh, filled the void, hasn't he? Uh, just four goals last season. This season he's already on 19 with two assists. Coughlin's done extremely well because Will Evans was uh, a wing back and now he's turned striker. And as we saw against Man United, he's, um, he knows how to get his shot away and knows how to poach. Um, we would expect that Bryn Morris's uh, super shot is not going to become a regular thing. So, uh, who else do we need to keep an eye on other than uh, the lively? Uh, Will Evans. Well, Shane McCoughlin, Shane McLaughlin has got six goals, eight assists from uh, the right wing back slot. Uh, he's their number 19, so he's one to watch out for. That's what you want from wing backs, isn't it? The occasional goal and uh, lots of assists, and he's getting both. Uh, Seb Palmer Holden is uh, partnering up front with Will Swan. He's on seven and three. So he's doing well. And uh, Zanzola, he's one that's close to returning after injury. It's tough. After the Man United game, you'd think after the Lord Mayor's show, they'd uh, perhaps fall off a little bit. It seemed that at home to Swindon, they went one down, but pulled themselves together in the second half and managed to pull it round and get a win. They did, of course, previous to, previous to that, beat Wrexham 1-0. Uh, in the uh, the Welsh derby, as it were. So, it's going to be a tough one. Warsaw have Aramidi Oti um, chomping at the bit for a return. Probably just going to make the bench. So, I think the team is going to be Evans in goal. Even though uh, I think a lot of us thought Jackson Smith should have stayed there. Uh, back three with the Priest, Akagbu and Daniels. Wing backs, Tom Knowles. Is he going to come good for Warsaw? Uh, Liam Gordon signed a contract extension. Again, is he going to start delivering the goods? Um, in midfield, is Comley going to continue as CDM? Or is Ryan Sturt going to come in? That's one thought. Um, the middle two, still like to be Jack Earing and Isaac Hutchinson. And then up front... Uh, Mo Fall yet to get a goal, and Josh Gordon yes yet to get a goal for us. They've only played a couple of games, but uh, we want to get them on the score sheet and get them firing. If Warsaw are going to do anything this season, my optimistic prediction is a crazy three two to Warsaw. We have some. Humdingers, we know uh, Connor Wilkinson's goal, you remember, that got a 3-3. Um, yeah, it's going to be a goals galore on this, I think. Looking forward to it for Saturday. We'll see you there. The joy and the pain. Thanks for watching. Cheers.